stammer, just in regards to um, things like factory and production preparations, what would you um, recommend in terms of things to re reduce costs? What would you say would be a good thing to do? <laughs> Difficult question, I know. It is. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to say is that factories uh, time the garments with a second. So you have to be very well prepared when you're ready for production. A very big thing we find is that we manufacture garments and we are not given a costing. Like this t-shirt takes 50 centimeters of fabric. So we, in, in, when we actually have it on the cutting table, we don't have enough fabric. We have to stop, call the customer and say, can you get us fabric? If they can't get us fabric, then you know, they, we throw out delivery dates, their delivery dates, they're not okay with the customers. It's a very big problem. So accurate costing to the centimeter with bulk fabric, it's very important. Correct sample for make. Don't just throw something that you, you have done and you don't know how to make it because the factory is going to follow it and then you will have to unpick garments. And the factory very correctly will refuse to unpick garments that they followed the sample. It's not, it's not cost effective and they will say, here's your sample, you have to pay me again. They're very, very correct. We find this all the time. An accurate working drawing, it's very important. And all the components. When you deliver something to the factory, deliver a sample, a working drawing, a docket, uh, and all the components that you need to make. Don't say, oh, I'm bringing you the fabric, but the zips will come in two weeks, and expect delivery day to be met. It's very, very important. All this will reduce costs, because then the factory will turn around and say, yes, but instead of taking me one week to deliver, it took me two and a half. And then you have to pay for that. <laughs>